Hello, my friends, my brothers and sisters of God. Welcome again to the sanctuary, to our Marian presence, and to the and to the realm of perfection. My hope is that you have been looking towards those areas of your life in which have brought you limitation and then acting upon those areas of your life to be raised higher by the mighty I am presence and by the hosts of heaven. And I thank you with the fullness of my heart for every tiny erg of energy that you have put forth to bring comfort and kindness to life, especially through your decrees, which is so much needed, the commands of God. which are so much needed. All our decrees go on at inner levels, no matter what the outer appearance may seem to outpicture. Every single thought and feeling, spoken word that is issued forth for the raising, for the compelling action, of the sacred fire to be brought forth into the people of this world is permanently in action. Yes, individuals may refuse, and many of them do, but still, it goes on and on and it will never stop. This is the power we have. This is the responsibility we have. And so it may be by the will of God that you put forth in your life. I was reading the other day about a being known as the Spirit of Christmas, in which he has a compliment, but this being releases his energy unto the phrase of Merry Christmas. It was very joyful to me when I, when I saw that the other day. It's beautiful. That's why there's that that action whenever anyone says it that brings about the comfort and the bliss of the kingdom of heaven of joy so I wish to share that with you and if people don't understand it's not Christmas who are you? And there's your initiation to stand for truth. Because you are the Christ, dear one. Because we are, and if you are Christ, why is not anyone else the Christ? What makes you more of a better, a higher person to be able to be such a presence, such a Christ? And there, that makes us all the Christ. Because that law, that idea and concept is nay before the throne of all of creation. It's pronounced nay, no. And so you tell them, we are all a Christ being, a Christ presence. 
gather together on this earth a mass in which it is a joy because this presence is perfection it is unlimited in its ways of expressing expression through creativity and art and love it's Christmas is eternal and you are God and God is the spirit of Christmas enacting through every individual on this planet and so that initiation may bring another individual to realize the meaning of life, the meaning of everything that they've been doing for the past 80 years, 50 years, the perhaps the past few years. But everyone deserves to be tested and these initiations will continue to spur out more and more just by the recalcitrance the ignorance of those who reject the teachings of life and the avenue of making this life their own hmm but it is a joy to behold the spirit of Christmas the very awareness of the Christ presence that may dwell upon your being every moment of the day but you must make conscious effort you must continue to take steps towards the becoming the fullness of your mighty I am presence and we are learning here about initiations of standing firm not allowing a person to come at you with any manner of depravity such as hate selfishness and standing firm and initiating into the path of it making the call when that person is in your face to your I am presence to Archangel Michael to proclaim the light of God never fails seven times so that the hosts of heaven all of heaven of the brotherhood of light rushes in to where you are and it certainly may take more than the tube of light the wall of blue flame pass not when that individual comes into your force field and then rents your energy field with imperfection causing your protection to cease and so it is a glory to behold it is a gift to come more into the knowingness of who I am and what I can do. What truly is my power? Unlimited. But we all, including I and those here serving the Ark, must come into this realization with every cell of our being. Because it is the feeling that drives the action, it drives the victory, and it drives mastery.
So I was given initiation the other day, where I believe that my service here ended. And so, immediately, right then and there, all of the memory records of the discordant experiences that I have had in the outer world before I came here rushed in in that moment. And I had, and I waited a little bit, a little while. Which was an error on my part. To make the call to my mighty presence and to the entire spirit of the Brotherhood Light to take full command of my feelings. To make certain that God perfection replaces this discord, this selfishness. And so I say this because I think it's it's helpful to hear of other students and their initiations and that they, they go through initiations. And how they deal with them. What was right, what was wrong? What should I have done? And so I commanded it some moments afterwards that my feelings, that my instruments maintain perfection. I don't remember if I used if I used the vat of flame. I did though. And so it was more than that too. But still, this was a force that still, with sincere determination, it's still rented in. Boy, was, it, was that an interesting day. But it was only an experience that was not fulfilling. Because in my consciousness, and by my focus, I allowed power, I allowed this force to not only imbue me with what's going to happen, but something I perhaps I did, can't tell you on the outer right now. It may not even be necessary, and it will come up if it is, but... It was an initiation that I believe would have taken me to the need to rhythmic, rhythmically decree. With the Circle and Sword of Estrella, the Emerald Matrix, the Ruby Ray, But anyways, we have these initiations, and, the, and we are all being watched on what we do when these initiations, initiations come up, so that we will be given more gifts if we sustain victory through them, and more ways and means of bringing forth the light from your very being to all upon this planetary body. This has been talked about in many dictations of the Ascended Masters. No matter what goes on on the outer, no matter what goes on in your feelings, in your mind, know that God loves you 
your mighty I am presence loves you. Everything is well. All is in. All is orchestrating in. Cosmic law. Which eventually brings all beings, all life, into perfection. No matter what. And this has been constantly stamped upon by the students that this concept of time holds sway in the matter of power, in the matter of that faith and courage. is depleted because that this concept of time brings. And I will leave you to the contemplation through inner levels to what I speak. But here we are. I trust you. that you sense that what I am doing right now is for your betterment. I trust that you sense what I say is resonating with how you should go about in your day-to-day -day lives. And I thank you for your attention, for your life, that you have given me for the opportunity of expansion of divine love being enmeshed in life into the elementals into your friends and family and everywhere upon this planet that is suffering studies upon my Facebook page and beloved purity for we always consistently post things that we think are for the betterment of everyone right now especially the students and then incorporating what we share in a decree work in your lives and we have not revealed everything we do because there is a certain attainment and attunement that is required to be able to understand and commit to doing fully everything that we do. I have shared some things, but we must have your trust. We must, ha we must know that you are full-heartedly ready and committed to stepping up higher. And we realize this by you messaging us, by you commenting from your heart about the things that we post, about questions that you are unsure about. And so we are always waiting to hear from the students of where they are at, of what is going on, with their application and how we can help them come into the fullness of decree work, communion with their I am presence and with the host of heaven and knowing which activities in this certain momentum and rhythmic 
consistency of what to do in everyday life in order to betterment for the well-being of all, which is not just reacting with, what do I do? Oh, and you go to that thing. It could be art, it could be television, it could be some form of music and or conversation that you bring forth. Whatever it is, I tell you that right now, to be certain of what you should do, it comes with the burning of the heart and it comes with the firing of your crown orchestrating cooperating with your third eye your vision of your inner life force of your I am presence your Christ presence propelling itself out and for the student Due to the conditions right now and the accumulated momentum of the forces of the outer world that many students have accumulated, have integrated, contemplation is necessary to what to make calls for, what to do with the energy of your crystal cord. There is a intense demand right now for certain teachings to be shared and for decree work to be met. But this teaching that is to be shared is best in form of purity. In which we here at the Ark compile in which I have failed in the past but now for myself and purity we are coming and perhaps she can say and I know for me that many of the things that we post and that will be posted will be in the fullness of the mother flame of the white light of purity I have stressed this over and over again that any form of impurity it can be a word which is a cup of energy that can either be ch pure truth and if it's not it is not but everything that we have been given has not always been necessarily the correct activity, the correct teaching, because there are only certain levels of teaching that can be lowered to certain individuals at a time through the personal initiations. And so they are propelled to give certain information but here at the Ark, we are telling you now, as I speak for all here, which is purity, grace, and I, that we are bringing forth the truth in its highest aspect that has been brought forth through the dispensations. from now into the past that has been upon this new cycle that we have entered from our beloved Saint Germain, our Lord, our 
heavenly lord that has given us given us the gift of life and has kept this planet in orbit praise this lord for he is the lord of life and as he would say I am the Lord of life in you, doing everything I have done, and greater shall ye do as Jesus has spoke. We are all hands and hearts and extensions of one being. I am that I am, the Godhead, the great I am, in the great central sun. Unlimited in energy for unlimited galaxies, solar systems, suns, evermore, creating beautiful expressions of various ways of divine love, art, beauty, and as I have said, all good things. Golden ages infinitely raining upon solar systems and planets and galaxies and so on and so on and so on. Glory it is this life that we are and that we live. Eternal it is and it may be your choice to live in this life, to begin ascend, ascending the steps to unlimited attainment to unlimited capacities of feeling the fullness of God love God courage and all good things Where the Ascended Masters have found a Chila, a student of the light, that has put forth application and decree work and consistent divine love towards all life, they will be where you are. They will be walking and talking with you, waiting to hear about your initiations, waiting to hear about what you are going through and how you can fully embrace the victory of each initiation waiting to hear about your ideas of how to put forth the necessary momentum and the certain, the certain intricate ways and means of focusing your attention to help certain areas of the world, certain conditions of the world be perfect, be replaced with perfection. You are most loved, and it is your gift, it is your opportunity to come into this love whom the hosts of heaven pour their life to. The love of these great beings simply goes through individuals because of hate, 
because of their refusal to acknowledge that there are other beings in this universe. And so their love does not come into their cellular structure and bring harmony. And maintaining harmony invites the electrons from the great central sun, from your mighty I am presence, to come into you and build your four instruments of God expression into perfection. Just by being harmonious. And I learned recently, if I can remember, that the feeling determines the rate, the speed of the electrons that spin around the white fire core of the heart of every atom, and the thought determines the amount of electro electrons spinning around the electron based on your focus and your simultaneous ability to concentrate on actions that raise and love life. Beautiful. My brother. Thank you. So now we have this moment onto which watch what you will do with this life force flowing through you to help the children and youth of the world who are the hope and they are the hope because it is them that is needed for the golden age because until they start making decrees the adults will not begin to make application and be consistent in their striving to be their mighty I am presence it takes the children and youth to come into the fruition of perfection and it is your cause that is needed for them to become the fruit of perfection it will not happen without you and it needs you to start loving these elements, these aspects of life unto greater heights. Seventh root race children come into embody without the proper parenting, the proper environment in which their school and their friends and teachers, but especially the mother, being and acting in their Marian presence. It is not hopeful for them to become their Marian presence because the foundation of their very life mirrors these aspects. And no matter their attainment, no matter the purification of their karma, or I should say the transmutation, or even the fact of them having no karma than coming into embodiment, withstanding the momentum of these channels in which I have described to you that is the foundation of these children that become the youth generation. will not be successful 
surely not successful without your decrees, but not successful because it is needed right now for the individual to have the knowledge of the teaching in order to keep the outer momentums of the mass consciousness thought forms and feeling riptides they are from entering their life streams. And so it is up to you to lead these children, these youth into their God estates. And on one side, yes, all is well, but the victory of these children and youth and the incoming civilization is not well and may not very be well for a period of many cycles and these cycles are different and many of these cycles may not be a conception to how long but in terms of energy but how long that is in terms of the various seasons changing over thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of times it is time you have the power that is in your hands and the karma will be upon you or not based on your decision to act upon these words which God speaks. Joy, bliss, peace, harmony, and all good things of the virtues of God come with this devotion and this activity to bringing freedom and the golden age to this planetary body. It is, and is beyond words to convey the experience and the fullness of what it feels like. But here we have it, and here you may just decide whether to trust me or not. But those who trust the words of God, these words of living light, may become this living light that knows no death, it knows nothing of anything less than harmony and divine love to all parts of life. I bid you with the fullness of the sun behind the sun who I am and who you are and as that very life force of being that is eternal everywhere unto you. Take it and join me in the legions of victory this day, and so it shall be. Thank you. I love you.